What's up, Razman? I got the Razman here, and today I'm using Camtasia Studio 7 in order to properly answer a question left for me on my Facebook fan page at facebook.com backslash Razman's Reality about the audio quality of my radio shows and how I get them to sound so good by the time you actually hear them over the air or by either means of archiving, be that geeky.com or the iTunes podcast feed, which is through audio graded on demand, because by the time you hear them, they do sound pretty darn good for re computer recorded audio. So I'm going to show you just how simple it is to do that process today. Also, keep in mind that this is a full episode, but you will not see the intro or credits today as in an effort to save myself some time. I'm not going to re-edit this in Sony Vegas Pro 10 because what happens is Camtasia Studio will record your monitor dimensions to give you a full screen and then separately make an HD video. However, if you add separate HD video, it will resize them to your monitor dimensions. So I don't want that to happen. Also, if you're new to recording audio, there is a few things well, two really that I wanted you to be aware of. Number one, it doesn't matter where you're going to record audio from. You can use any program that will allow you to record audio as long as you have the program that I'm going to show you today in order to achieve your final result. Also, if you're new to recording, you want to have your microphone volume level at about 75. This gives you the best overall quality sound while not making it too soft where no one could hear you or making it too high that would cause possibility of distortion or problems with your system audio throughout. Also, keep in mind that everything that you're going to see demonstrated today is done by left-clicking the mouse. There is no right-clicking necessary. So now let's go down to our quick launch menu, launch Adobe Audition CS 5.5, and begin. Alright, so you can see that once the program is open, all I need to do is click the red record button right here to begin recording. Now normally at this point this is where I would save the audio file, however I don't need to do that since this is just a simple recording and I won't actually need to keep this in the end. However what is important to note is your sample rate, your channels, and your bit depth. You want to keep these at what you see here. 44 by 100 stereo and 32 bit float. This will give you the best overall sound while keeping your file small enough to any to where it's easy to share in any program or any means by which you're sharing your audio. So let's click OK and begin. I'm making a sample recording inside Adobe Audition CS 5.5. You'll notice that the audio will sound exactly the same as you've heard this entire tutorial during the first playback. However, once I apply the filter that I'm going to demonstrate for you, you'll be able to notice an immediate improvement in sound quality despite the great raw levels that this new microphone that I have, the Microsoft LiveChat LX3000, gives me. Alright, so now just to confirm what I said, I'm going to click at the beginning of our recording here. I clicked a little bit too far in, so let me just use the arrow keys, go to the beginning of the recording, and click play back. I'm making a sample recording inside Adobe Audition CS 5.5. You'll notice that the audio will sound exactly the same as you've heard this entire tutorial during the first playback. However, once I apply the filter that I'm going to demonstrate for you, you'll be able to notice an immediate improvement in sound quality despite the great raw levels that this new microphone that I have, the Microsoft LiveChat LX3000, gives me. 
So there you go. So how do we improve the sound? Well, it's very, very simple. We're just going to go up here to the Effects tab and click on that. You'll see a drop-down menu. Of course, you're going to go down here to where it says Amplitude and Compression, which gives you that second drop-over menu on your right. From here, you're going to go down to Multiband Compressor and click on Multiband Compressor. Once you've done that, you'll see that the default preset is exactly what you're looking for. Broadcast, as in broadcast level sound. So now all we have to do is click on apply. Sorry, the keyboard was getting in my way. Now we're going to click on apply. And now I'll demonstrate the improvement in sound quality for you. I'm making a sample recording inside Adobe Audition CS 5.5. You'll notice that the audio will sound exactly the same as you've heard this entire tutorial during the first playback. However, once I apply the filter that I'm going to demonstrate for you, you'll be able to notice an immediate improvement in sound quality despite the great raw levels that this new microphone that I have, the Microsoft LiveChat LX3000, gives me. And there you go, Rasmonites. It's that simple and that easy. Just get Adobe Audition CS 5.5, go down to, or go up, sorry, to your effects tab, go to your right to multiband compressor, click the broadcast level preset, click OK, and you'll have your broadcast level sound. If you have any further questions about anything I do as part of Rasmonites Reality Productions, don't hesitate to ask and I will be happy to do any future tutorials. This is reality according to the Razman and Razman style. It's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.